So here's the dichroic lamp I made with the beautiful multicolored effect that you get from this material. Um, so basically this was a simple demonstration I did at the beginning and you see when, when there's light shining through it from, from behind the material it lights up pink and blue and inside you get this reflected light that's like green and yellow. Uh, originally I was coming to this lamp from, from a paper model I made of this voxel, voxel sphere which is a sphere that's been made cubic and I thought how, how nice this thing looks in all these different colors and, and at one stage during the, the drawing of this I came across this um, visualization in AutoCAD and I thought wow doesn't that look fantastic with, with all those like, transparency colors and the, my end result is very close to it look check it out very very close so very happy um, and anyway the process went as such I built a paper model where I was looking at the how the holes would be and I had to be very careful about that detail because there's very little point where they're actually joining this was a, a test run I did with the plastic too then I went about cutting out the whole piece. This is what it looked like. And then I also had to drill the drill the holes. These holes were there to avoid the material from tearing. And then I scored the material with a blunt knife and to get it ready for folding. And so here you see the first corner section being, being folded. And after folding in all four sides, you end up with something like this. Um, and I had to glue the, the last join at the back. As well so you know, before I did all the gluing I was still looking at what was going to be my light source and I noticed that when the light was at the bottom it seemed to have more you're able to see more of the colors and more dramatic effect with, with a light like up light up lighting something is pretty cool so I got this down light and I turned it upside down and made it as my up light that I was going to sit this um, dichroic shade on so I, I made a transparent plate to, to glue onto the bottom of the shade and screw onto this the frame of this lamp. So I needed to drill the holes and tap the screw thread. I put a, a large hole on the side. This was for the cable to be able to go through. Um, I put a nice blue cable with this black socket, black switch. The blue cable went with the, with the lamp shade. So uh, I also made this wooden base to go on the on the bottom of the whole thing with two little stumps that they reached up inside it and joined with the with the screws to hold it in place. So to to glue the the big join up the middle, I needed to use uh, one large piece and use this like contact cement because it was curving a lot. I clamped it down to the bench and left it there for a few hours just to be sure it would it would stay glued. Uh, all the rest of the small joints just with a small little strip of double-sided sticky tape was enough. And here at the base, um, I don't have much pictures of this, but I, I glued the base on with, with more of that contact glue. So here's just a, a quick video. You can see how by, you know, moving around the lamp at different sides, they, the, the lights start, the, the, the colors start to change from from blues to pinks to oranges and then inside we also see those those yellows and those greens and so all in all it's like there's a complete color wheel going on in, inside in this uh, in this lamp and what's nice is the way the different faces of the lamp are set at different angles that puts it at a different position and a different angle to where the light source is and that's what seems to be creating all these different colors. So I'm really pleased with the result. Uh, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, it's just a, a kind of a quick introduction to the whole thing. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can check out the the, the full instructable, which I, which I'll leave on the instructables website. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Good monkey.